Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Have we found the best darn barn rake or manure fork on the market? Hey, stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. As you can imagine, in a hobby farm like what we have around here, there is a lot of cleanup. We've got gravel paths, we've got chickens, we've got areas and bed, uh, flower beds and that sort of thing that can really benefit with using this kind of what's called a manure fork or a barn uh, fork that is really good as a combo. You can take it and pointing the tines down rake but you can turn over and pick up. Now this is a model that we've used for quite a while. This is about three seasons old, and this is made by Little Giant Company, uh, and this is what's called their Dura Fork, okay? And, but there's a couple inherent um, weaknesses with this particular fork. First of all, the price point on this is very reasonable. You can get these for under $20, and if you get three seasons of use, then you probably got a pretty doggone good use out of it. But here's a couple limitations and why you might want to consider upgrading to what I'm going to show you in just a minute. First of all, right here at the handle, there is only one attachment point, one single bolt that goes through trapped right here. And you can see this rake has had a lot of love over the last two or three seasons. Well, this also, because the sleeve's not very deep and there's only one attachment point, this tends to be the weak point of the rake. And as you can see, Look at the cracks that have formed. So right now I can use this, but only for light duty. And so I could get another head on this, put it on here, uh, but that's gonna be the inherent weakness. There's something else here that is uh, problematic with this particular one, and you have to, it looks persnickety, but it really does make a difference. Do you see right here where on this casting, these two uh, tines, or at least the origination points, join together into one tine? Right here is a tight point, right at the uh, joining point of both, at the apex of this open space. Well, you know what? Lots of stuff gets caught in that. We have some stringy weeds out here, binder weed, uh, these types of things, or straw, or just growth that is sticks that are long that tend to just pack here. And so you go to unload the rake and you're shaking it off and you have to hand unload that a surprising amount of times, enough for it to be irritating. Well, we found another brand that we think has uh, quite a bit more improvements for only a moderate increase in cost. Now you can buy the rake that I was just showing you for under $20. I bought this for about $35. This is the STR22 from Tough Stuff Products. Now this rake is really well built. As you can see where the handle goes in together, there's two bolts and when I assembled it, it went together flawlessly uh, with the trap nuts in behind. These have thread locks on them and so this stays really tight, but there's a lot of mass right in this area. A few more great features on this is that it has a 45 inch aluminum handle with a movable hand grip here that really makes it nice and a D handle. So all that's included. This is about $35, whereas the other one's about $20. So moderate price increase, but much more utility, and I think it's gonna last a lot longer. This is 17 inches across, where the other rake I just showed you is 14 inches across, so it has increased capacity. And notice the intersection of these two right here, it's rounded out. So it's a lot less likely to catch those stringy materials that wanna go along for a ride when you're trying to empty the fork. Well, we think this is gonna work really well, but let's take it outside and put it to work. But you know, it's a little dark right now out there and a little cold. So why don't we wait till tomorrow morning and why don't you come back and then uh, we'll go ahead and put it for a test drive and see how well it performs. Hey, good morning. Hey, did you get a good night's sleep? I know I did. Well, let's go ahead and put this to work. Let's see how it turns out. So one of the things I wanna point out really quickly, if you pay more, there's another upgraded model that has an adjustable handle. This is the stationary, about 45 or 46, but it works really well for me. First thing we do is just see how this works like in this kind of thing here. These are some soil fill-ins, manure dirt, and as you can see, it's kind of hard, but let's just go ahead and see if I can get, well, boy, 
So I can get a nice load of dirt right there and kind of jump, jump in. And uh, it feels good in the hand and does not feel like it's flexing at all. So does a night, there we go. I'm getting kind of a heavier load there. That feels good. Our Arborist friends been bringing us lots of these wood chips. And uh, so to handle these in large amounts, uh, boy, this really works nice. I'm liking this. I can tell the difference between the other one we have. It actually digs in very nicely and scoops cleanly. Notice that when I'm done, there's very little sticking in it. I do have a little bit of debris right there that comes out. Well, so far, our initial impressions are very good. You can see it's worked well in these kind of chips. It worked well in the soil manure mix, picking up leaves. You can turn it around on its nose and use it for raking. So we think we're gonna have a positive experience. But to really test this, we'll post again a year from now after this has really been put through the paces through the summer and spring months as well. And we'll let you know if we still are as enthusiastic about it as we are right now. If you found this video to be helpful, why don't you like it and better yet, subscribe. When you do, ring the bell so that you'll be notified approximately every Saturday of great new content about the home, the garden, the shop, great product reviews, and even the kitchen. And here's another thing that people run into a lot if you have a rural setting, is how to repair a yard hydrant. Take a look at this video. It'll tell you how to stop the leak. And then check out this other video that we created for you that YouTube thinks is perfect for your interest. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.